Kingdom Blessings, I'm Pastor Sheila. Are you ready to be blessed, revived, and refreshed? Well, it's time for Moet Shel Raga, the appointed time of refreshing. Come on, you know how we do this. Come on, let's go. coming from James chapter 4, verses 1 to 3. I'm reading from the Life Application Study Bible. It says, What is causing the quarrels and fights among you? Isn't it the whole army of evil desires at war within you? You want what you don't have, so you scheme and kill to get it. You are jealous for what others have, and you can't possess it, so you fight and quarrel to take it away from them. And yet the reason you don't have what you want is that you don't ask God for it. And even when you do ask, you don't get it because your whole motive is wrong. You want only what will give you pleasure. And the note says, conflicts and disputes among believers are always harmful. James explains that these quarrels result from evil desires battling within us. We want more possessions, more money, higher status, more recognition. When we don't get what we want, we fight in order to have it. Instead of aggressively grabbing what we want, we should submit ourselves to God. Ask God to help us get rid of our selfish desires and trust him to give us what we really need. James mentions the most common problems in prayer, not asking, asking for the wrong things or asking for the wrong reasons. Do you talk to God at all? When you do, what do you talk about? Do you ask only to satisfy your desires? Do you seek God's approval for what you already plan to do? Your prayers will become powerful when you allow God to change your desires so that they perfectly correspond with his will for you. My dearly beloveds, my dear brothers and sisters, my dear sons and daughters. This is a powerful, powerful acknowledgement. 
James mentions three most common problems in prayer. Some of us are praying. We've been praying and praying and praying and praying. And we just feel like the heavens are brass and God is not answering us. But he gives us the three most common problems in prayer. One, we don't ask God for what we want. We talk to others about it, but we fail to ask Abba, our Father, about it. And then some of us ask about it, but we're asking for the wrong things. We ask for our own selfish desires. And then thirdly, we're asking for the wrong reasons. So brothers and sisters, I want to encourage you today. Seek God for whatever you want. Make sure that it lines up with the word of God because he said heaven and earth will pass away but without one word before one word or jot or tittle of his word will fall to the ground. It, the word of God also says that his word will accomplish whatever he sends it out to do. It's going to be complete. He's going to do it. So if you're asking God for something that's in alignment with God's word He's going to do it. Just hold fast, believe, and wait on God's timing. But if you're asking for something and asking amiss or asking for something that's not in his will for your life or in his will in the word of God, you're asking in vain. God will not go against his word. So I want to encourage you, get into the word of God so that you know what his will is. And pray his will so that you can see the manifestation of the prayers that you are praying. James brings out that many are quarreling and many are fighting. And this is not the world. This is the body of Christ. He's talking to the church. He's talking to believers that many are quarreling and fighting amongst themselves. And he says, isn't this whole war, this whole conflict because of the evil desires within us? We want what other people have. We want what we don't have. We scheme and we kill to get what others have. We're jealous about other people. We want to possess what other people have. Beloved, even if it's the anointing of God on our lives, sometimes we um, want to minister like someone else or we want to prophesy like someone else or we want to lay hands on someone like someone else does or preach or teach like someone else. But beloved, God has made us all unique. Let's stay in our lane. Let's seek the Father for what he has given us. Each of us have gifts or a gift. And the scripture says that the spirit, he gives out gifts according to his desire. But we all can desire to prophesy. If we're a believer, God should be speaking to us. We can edify, we can uplift, we can encourage someone with the word of God. I'm encouraging you today, my dear brothers, my dear sisters, Sons and daughters, let's seek God. Whatever you have in your heart, your desires, make sure that it lines up with God's will. We need to pray and ask God to help us. Because all this quarreling and fighting and jealousy in the body of Christ should not be. It shouldn't be named amongst us. We should be loving people. And when people see the church, the body of Christ, they should see nothing but love. The scripture says that we should uh, respect our, the believers and hold them in high regard, especially if we're believers. But some of us are at war with each other and it should not be. You know what happened with hatred and jealousy? Just look in, in Genesis. There was a problem with the brothers, Cain and Abel. Cain was jealous. 
But God gives us all the right to come to him. Abel went to God and asked God what he wanted. And he gave God what he wanted. Cain wanted to give God what Cain wanted to give him. And so he wasn't blessed because he didn't seek God's face. I am urging you, son of God, daughter, seek God's face. What does God require of you? You have the same rights as anyone else. If you have sin in your life, get rid of it. Seek the Lord and ask him to purge you. But you have the same rights as any other believer. If you would just come boldly to the throne of grace, there to obtain mercy in the time of need. Ask the Father, Father, what is it that you have for me to do? What's my gift, Father? What is my assignment? Every one of us has an assignment. I want to challenge you. Seek the Lord. Come on, let's pray. Father, Father, in the mighty, matchless name of Yeshua, I'm a Shia, we come before you. Giving you glory, giving you honor, giving you praise because you are our Father. We bless you. We love you. We adore you. We give you the glory, honor, and praise. And Father, we confess our faults before you. Forgive us, Lord. We don't want jealousy, bitterness, resentment, or pride to be in our lives. We don't want anything in our hearts that is not your will, that is not your character. So, Father, we're crying out to you and we ask that you would work in us, work through us, work on us, Father. Holy Spirit, work in us. Shine the light upon us, Lord. Anything that is dark in us, God, take it out. Perform the surgery. Take it out, Lord. We don't want anything, anything that will disgrace you. So, Father, we ask that you would work in us, work on us. We're claying your hands, mold us, make us, shake us, break us, take out every mar, every blemish, every stain. Take it out of us, Lord. We present ourselves as a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable unto you, which is our reasonable service. We don't want to be conformed to this world. Father, Holy Spirit, transform us by the renewing of our minds. Renew our minds, renew our hearts. Shape us, break us, mold us, take out every mark, every blemish, every stain, every wrinkle, God. We want to be your vessels, meet for your use. So, Father, work in us. Father, synchronize our hearts with yours that we would pray your will. Holy Spirit, teach us. Teach us how to walk in the Spirit that we will not fulfill the lust of the flesh thereof. It is our desire to please you. It is our desire to be in your presence, to carry your glory. It is our desire to complete the mission that you have placed on our lives, oh God. It is our desire to work the gifts, to use the gifts that you've given unto us. Father, open up our eyes, open up our spiritual eyes, our spiritual ears, our mouths, oh God, that we will not be silent, oh God, but we will sing forth your praises. We will, that we will give you the praise that's due your name. We look to you. You are the author and finisher of our faith. We bless your holy name. We bless you. Father, we lift up every apostle, every prophet, every evangelist, pastor, and teacher. We're lifting up the singing prophets. We're lifting up the minstrels. We're lifting up the psalmists, oh God, the intercessors, oh God, the seers, oh God, every prophet, Lord God, everyone that you have granted us the grace to walk in your anointing. Father, we're praying for the sons of God that we will manifest, that we will take our rightful places, that we will understand the purpose that you've placed us here on the earth, that we will fulfill the assignment that you have placed on our lives. Father, we cry out to you, Holy Spirit, lead us, guide us into all truth. Thank you for your word. It is a lamp unto our feet and a light unto our path. Holy Spirit, illuminate our minds as we read and meditate on the word of God, that we will be able to discern the truths of God's word. Lead us and guide us. This is our prayer, Father. We want to walk the walk that you have ordained us to walk. So we say yes to your will. We say yes to your way. Father, we're praying for the backslider. The one that you called and has turned their back. Like Jonah, Father, we're praying that you would give them another chance, oh God. Bring them back. 
souls unto the kingdom. We're calling them in for the north, south, east, and west. We're praying for the souls, the believers in Africa, in Ghana, Accra. We're calling for souls in Kenya, in Nairobi, in, in Nigeria, oh God. We're crying out for the believers and souls in Pakistan, India, God. We're praying for Pastor Emmanuel, oh God. We're praying, oh God, for your people everywhere. Meet and provide for them, Father. You are Jehovah Jireh. You are the Lord God that supplies every need. Father, I pray that you would open up the windows of heaven and pour out blessings and supply, oh God, Jehovah Rapha. You are the place of provision. You provide provision for your people. So we say yes to your will and yes to your way. In the mighty matchless name of Yeshua, Amashiach. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen, amen, amen. Hallelujah. I pray that you've been provoked today, that you've been blessed, revived, and refreshed in the presence of the Lord. Shalom.